Hello everyone, today we are going to be harvesting our crate potatoes. They are ready to harvest. As you can see, there are a lot of potatoes. We're going to see what this one crate will produce for us. And here's the second one. We're going to carry it on over here. Right, we're going to fill out, pull out our first crate of potatoes and see how much we got here. This is our first crate. I'm going to throw up some more. See if we have any more. Ooh, look at those. This is coming from one milk crate. Good worm. This is some good soil. They're going to take the potatoes out. Let's see what we got. got some small ones. Oh, small ones. Oh gosh. Ooh, got some big ones. Look at all those. Ooh, I see one. Kids love doing these. This is our potato harvest for our crates. This crate right here. I do so I would say I don't know how much this would be, about five pounds of potatoes. Oh, oh, the seeds are popping up. Have, are these many flowers? Yep, those are flowers. Mm -hmm. oh, these ones are big. And they're easier to take off. Good day everyone. Today we want to take you on a small garden tour of half our garden. Today I am showing you here our pumpkins coming up. I have to record over this part because our chickens were, and roosters were kind of being loud. But today we will like to show you our pumpkins. So far they are doing excellent, alhamdulillah. And we did these by seeds, I would say about three weeks ago and they're growing like crazy. Now we had in this spot that we had these pumpkins, have these pumpkins, we had in a prior year, we had our peas and we had, and we had broccoli. Now this is our sugar cane. We planted from a single stick, right? Sugar cane stick that we got or organically from one of our neighbors. And as you can see, it's growing really, really well. Mashallah. And over here, we got our flowers, our female flowers. And of course, on these ends, we have more pumpkins. And over here, we have our okra. And the okra is just about ready to harvest. So we're going to pick more of these off in a few days. And cook some up and hopefully we get more. San Marzano's still producing quite a bit, quite a lot. Wheat tape did excellent. And if you can see in between, 
in between each of these, we do still have our basil. Got some red ones down there. Red ones ready to pick. We've already, we've already picked about 150 of them already. And you can see the basil right here, doing this job with the bugs. And it's more growing every single day we come out here. Our cucumbers, we've um, harvested, we've harvested quite a bit of cucumbers already as well. And more coming every day we come out here. It's more, alhamdulillah. Some from the large cucumbers to the pickled cucumbers. Our tamatillos. And they are producing some fruit as well. We got our flowers on them. The beautiful yellow flowers on them. And the fruit is coming. They get quite tall actually. This is the first year growing tamatillos and doing quite well. Alhamdulillah. And this is some of our potted green peppers, the flowers. We already harvested some of the green peppers off of them. This is our time lapse turmeric, where I'll insert one of the clips we have as a short that we grew inside of the house underneath the lamp. And then some of our peppermint that we constantly pick off of. And it's inside of here we have some celery. And then we have our sage. This is just one of the pots of sage. You have a lot of potted herbs. And some more mint. And then this is our climbing cucumber plant that we harvest a lot. It's even climbing up the tree. All the way up to here. More of our bell peppers. Red bell peppers and yellow bell peppers and basil. This is our ginger plant. As you can see how big it is. This is we did the ginger by some store-bought ginger. Put it in a pot. And this is a thick neck ginger. Some more of our green peppers in a pot. We harvested quite a lot of um, green peppers. And lettuce and green peppers and more green peppers. And we got our lemon tree right here we have some of our lemon trees which is the one that's behind the tomato plant and one is right here we did by seed two years ago and let's go over to our banana trees these are organic main bananas these are edible bananas they're in a pot we're going to be planting them in the ground very soon and this is more and this is our cold hardy banana tree. See over here. And if we close over here, we have our watermelons. We're growing quite a lot of watermelon on these plants. Yeah. And they're made in a crate. Gotta water them later. We installed some of these to hold some of the heavier watermelon. And later on, we will install more. So here we have our potted from seed, our marigolds that we plant with our plants. When we do plant our plants, we take our marigolds out of here. We grow them in the greenhouse, put them outside, and put them with some of our plants, which is right here, which is the crookneck squash, squash that we already harvested as well. It's time for us to start our fall gardening, gardening soon. So... And over here we have a bunch of cucumbers. So many cucumbers came off of there. And uh, we've harvested a lot of our sunflower. These are the mammoth sunflowers. We have quite a bit more of the really, really big ones. Which are, if I can get in here, we have this really huge one. Very big. And we have quite a bit more to harvest that we're going to be harvesting. And I'm going to be using their stalks to build a fence once it dry them out. Inshallah. We harvested some of our peaches, which is on that tree over here. So everything that you see in the, our garden is edible. It's a lot of the herbs and things 
including chickens. We also have a lot of our peas that we harvested as well. We sell a lot of our things and we partner sell with the Amish. Growing in our pots and our grape tree. But as you can see, inshallah, this is only half of a garden. We have a lot more to show you all. But stay tuned for our next clip. And inshallah, we will see you on the next episode of Rain Raps Gardening, Organic Gardening.